Springfield, where Secretary of the Commonwealth William Galvin made a stop to promote early in-person voting, which kicks off Saturday ahead of the state's primary election. Western Mass News reporter Olivia Hickey joins us live from Springfield City Hall with more. Olivia? Abby and Chris, Secretary Galvin tells me the numbers show that early voting is a tool many are taking advantage of across the Commonwealth. And here in Springfield, the city clerk's office says they're up for the challenge. Primary election day in the Bay State is September 3rd. Secretary of the Commonwealth William Galvin says in general, it's a fairly quiet one but in Midwestern Mass has more local action than other regions. We do have some local races here in Springfield, with legislative races for the for the state Senate, for the House of Representatives. We also have an open seat in the Berkshires, which is part of the Western Mass coverage as well. He tells Western Mass News it's why he chose to stop by Springfield City Hall Wednesday to promote in-person early voting for the primaries, kicking off this Saturday the 24th and running through Friday, August 30th. Starting this weekend for the first time statewide, every community is going to have to provide an opportunity to vote early in person. Here in Springfield, it'll be at City Hall on both Saturday and Sunday, as well as the Greenleaf Community Center on Saturday. Speaking with Western Mass News, Secretary Galvin says early voting has been a popular choice for voters. The proof is in the numbers. He tells me almost 1 million residents have applied to vote by mail. Almost 300,000 of those ballots have been returned. Here in Springfield, over 4,000 people have already voted by mail. So there is a lot of interest, even though these aren't particularly intense races. With the presidential election just around the corner and big names like former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris on the ballot, he expects interest to grow. We do expect an uptick, not just of people who've recently moved, but of younger people who will only be eligible for the first time. This excitement does come with extra work. But with convenient ballot casting options increasing voter interest, Springfield City Clerk and Election Commissioner Gladys Oyola Lopez says they welcome the challenge and brought in extra hands to get the work done. The staff has been extremely excited. They have actually troubleshooted different methods of making it easier not only for themselves but for the voters support from Secretary Galvin's office and from Mayor Dominic Sarno's office so he's allowed us to hire temporary staff to kind of fill in the gaps where our election staff is busy and we've had interns from some of the schools. While Massachusetts does have automatic voter registration, Secretary Galvin says now is a great time to check on your voter status, especially if you moved recently. An interesting note to end this report on, Secretary Galvin is actually serving as acting governor at the moment, as Governor Healy and Lieutenant Governor Driscoll are in Chicago for the Democratic National Convention. He was there days ago and tells me that there was a ton of energy and a ton of excitement for the Harris-Waltz ballot for the White House. Reporting live, Olivia Hickey, Western Mass News.